Welcome to Stamping Country. Today we're going to work on a scrapbook page. I'm going to choose some designer paper. I know that I like the Joyful. I'm going to do a Christmas layout. So I'm going to go into my Joyful designer paper. And I really like this first one. So I'm going to choose that for the background of my scrapbook page and hit OK. And it just fills the whole scrapbook page with the paper. Now that's a little bit too much because I want to add photos. So I'm going to add a punch. That's the easiest way to add another layer. And click. I'm going to go with the basic square punch and we'll hit apply. We can close that out and we're going to enlarge the punch until it covers most of the scrapbook page. We just want to leave a little bit of the joyful designer paper peeking out. So you can enlarge that by pulling the little squares on the punch until it covers to where you want it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then we want to color it with, let's go with the crumb cake. Yeah, that'll look great. Okay, that gives us a neutral background, uh, but it's a little boring. Let's add a little trim. I'm going to get another punch. We'll use the square again. We'll hit apply. And I want to shape this more like a rectangle. We're going to move it up here between the designer paper and the crumb cake. And let's fill that with color. We'll go with something that coordinates. And I want to add a mat to this just to outline it a little bit. Black's a little harsh, so I'm going to go with the basic gray and hit OK. Then we're going to copy it and paste it. So we have two now, and we'll sort of stagger it. It begins to form that little trim or ruffle across. Copy and paste and move another, and we're going to do that all the way across. Next, I want to add an overlay. Just love this technique. So I'm going to type in overlays. And I like number 11. So I'm going to click that and apply, apply. Just takes a few minutes for it to apply the overlay. It'll go over my entire scrapbook page, but I can adjust the size. And then we can close that out. Pretty. Just a little dark though, so I'm going to go over here to my opacity and just slide that across. See how that looks. Mm, a little light. Let's go a little darker. Yeah, I like the way that looks. So that's how you add an overlay to your scrapbook page very easy. Um, stay tuned for more Stamping Country My Digital Studio videos in the future.